Yeah, so I found a uh, cool video. Uh, pieces it together. I mean, doing some research, it looks like this was apparent back in October or something, so I'm kind of late to the game, but uh, you watch Wonderful Counselor's video entitled Daniel Nye. Okay, and this, uh, this gives you your anchor point in Daniel 11. It's funny how it works like that, huh? Uh, Daniel 11, and you got Arafat being, and I read, conjecture, apparently a boss accused this dude, uh, Muhammad Dalan, of uh, poisoning, murdering, assassinating Arafat. Now, you can see in Daniel 11, uh, this is the dude who goes to his fortress is not found and is not found that's Arafat being killed succeeded by a razor of taxes but just for a few days this is the interim dude uh, Fa Fati anyway anyway interim dude and then he's succeeded by Mahmoud Abbas now so then if you interpret it Mahmoud Abbas has to be alive when the crazy shit goes down Crazy shit's going down. My boot boss is still alive, but he's old as fuck. He's going to kick the bucket soon. Probably. I mean, almost certainly. Yeah. Anyway, it says uh, the dude that succeeds him is going to be the one that defiles the temple, you know, does the abomination of desolation, multiple interpretations, you know, it, it fulfills more than once uh, in different ways. Like, almost everything does. It's like, if you think it only applies to one instance, then that's super base, man. Uh, anyway, uh, Muhammad Dalan, okay, could be the dude, could be the dude, time will tell, um, in other news, in other news, you know, uh, found by those who don't ask for me, and so that's a little bit tricky, because they're not looking, but, then again, it might turn out, anyway, uh, that then I mean shit dude it's fucking gone it's fucking gone and uh oh yeah reading uh started reading as Eagle Nine totally just picks up from where I leave off in the time video right this last seven years of Jerusalem crawl through the wall and you see the, all the abominations and stuff and then it goes fucking uh dude's going mark the people in Jerusalem that's happening now, okay? That's happening now. Marking the people in Jerusalem. Those who don't have the mark are not going to be spared, okay? I mean, read Ezekiel 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, you know? I mean, I don't know when it's when that, when that picture stops, but uh, it's a prerequisite to then tail end of Zechariah where two-thirds of the city are smitten Rape, pillaged, uh, gruesome shit. And so that's going to happen pretty damn soon. Um, and yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, I did get some new clothes. They're not really new, so I don't think it really counts. So I'm still holding out for that. But uh, things are progressing. You know, big surprise there. Things always are progressing. Um, and then day by day. Day by day, I have no fucking idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, but I have an idea of what may happen. Um, and so, pretty much it's like, I just don't want to be humble of drugs and shit, you know. Uh, I think I may be able to avert that. It's only got tans, though. I mean, it could be that uh, I get fucking chemically lobotomized and then... The only resort that God has is is to, you know, raise me into a, an immortal body or some shit like that. And then maybe I can float around and scare the shit out of a bunch of people. You know, just like, appear in this place, appear in that place, fucking wiggle my finger and fucking chop your leg off or something, you know. Like, it, it, it's unfortunate, but, but it does have to go with the damage first. Okay, damage first then rewards and stuff. And the central premise behind that is that nobody is actually worthy of reward. 
Okay, so it's only by earning mercy that you can get reward. And to earn mercy, you know, uh, you've got to agree. Okay, you don't want to be opposed to God when he's killing people for good reason. In order to get the mercy, you got to agree that God does have the cause to waste these motherfuckers. And to waste you too. And that's the whole point. All who have sinned are guilty of death. Or, I mean, are, are worthy of death. So, it's like, yeah, you too. Me too. Everyone. The only fucking way out of it is to get the mercy. Let's get the favor. That's the only way. So, don't be praying against God saying, oh, please save these people, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Because they're abominable motherfuckers. Okay, now this goes doubly or triply or whatever for you fucking pagan motherfuckers who just got done sacrificing your children to the Saturnalia bullshit. Now, yeah, like ideally that's a that's a final. I'm not even gonna say the name of the purported you know holy day because it's not. It could be the last one. I hope it's the last one. I hope that we don't even have another set of uh dying eggs in infant blood you know that would be a shame but it could be that they do go die eggs in infant blood again and you know it's like it's gonna get bad it's gonna get bad uh, you can't claim you'd have no mourning the book's been there the whole fucking time so oh yeah so basically yeah i mean sent shit dude Pretty good little uh, explanation right off the cuff, so eh, I'm not really worried because right off the cuff, you know, all the time. Uh, concern though, you know, but kind of not really, but kind of still a little bit. Um, more than anything, I'm hopeful that, uh, you know, I'll get a buddy. You know, just one, just one is fine. One dude. Who can agree with me that uh, certain things should happen in certain ways? Ideally, to minimize bloodshed, you know, and uh, maximize the uh, uh, the number and quantity, uh, the number and quality of those who are still breathing at the end of this thing. Um, then you got the whole curveball of resurrection and stuff. Like, it's gonna get pretty fucking crazy, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, the essential thing is, is that everything is so fucking complex. Uh, no one of us can ever hope, well, not ever, but no one of us can hope to understand the whole thing right now. That's why we have a thousand years to figure this shit out. It's important not to think too highly of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's important also to realize that other people have complementary pieces to the puzzle. Uh, other people also have, you know, a bunch of destructive pieces that just blow everything up, you know, so you got to be careful. But by and large, uh, if you're trying, God will throw you a bomb, okay, if you're trying. So just make sure that you keep trying. Um, when it seems hopeless or whatever, that's the time where you just need to focus on doing things correctly, okay? Because God will present you a choice, many choices. Uh, you have the opportunity to, to, to ignore what the Bible says and just do your own thing, leads to death, or you can do what seems to be wrong or logical or definitely not ideal in a situation. The, the keyword there is seems, and uh, just go with the Bible. Okay, so if you just go with the Bible, even if you're wrong. God is apt to give you mercy because you're doing it for the right reason. Okay? Even if you're wrong, because all of us are wrong, uh, at least if you're going balls to the wall, he can appreciate that. And he does appreciate that. Um, and so, yeah, my advice would basically be like, read some Bible, go balls to the wall, really guard yourself against fucking up. Don't make mistakes. And if you make a mistake, stop. Stop. Figure out why you made the mistake. Figure out how to correct the mistake. If you can't figure it out, ask somebody. Figure out why you made the mistake. And don't make the mistake again. At least not the same way. Um, and yeah, grow every day. 
uh, pretty much it's like uh, time's gonna start going faster. Uh, yeah, like a lot of things are gonna fucking happen, and this is gonna fly by. Uh, but at the same time, because we're in it, it's gonna probably seem like it's taking forever. Okay, uh, so just prepare yourself for that. The the whole process is meant to push you to push you to your limit. If you're not at your limit, you're not trying hard enough. So, uh, you know, overachievers are definitely rewarded. Underachievers, who gives a fuck? Okay, like <laughs> if you're a half-asser, it's like you got no place in the world to come. You know what I'm saying? Like you you need to be subject to corrective action. Okay, before you can even like associate with uh, the people in the world to come. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I would really love to be, you know, blessing, blessing a bunch of people and stuff right now, but there has to be cause. You can't just do shit because you want to do shit. There has to be cause. And so I'm really fishing to get some cause. If somebody, hopefully, somebody will give me some cause to bless them. And that's pretty much that. My fingers are getting cold, so, yeah, man, I mean, that's, that's pretty juicy, dude. You should do some research on that.